All right, let's see if we can first hit this 97 with a 44. See what we got. 97 miles per hour. Hey everybody, welcome back to Batfoot BP. Today we've got the new Axe Inferno dual stamp. This is a 26 bounce. Huge shout out to Michael over at D-League BP for sending this over for me to try out. Been really wanting to check this out and he was gracious enough to send it over. But I always get messages that, hey, I thought dual stamps sucked. Well, times have changed, people. So we're gonna do a little gauntlet, a little bro science today, if you would. We got two of my favorite 240s out at the moment and definitely the king of ASA, we got Monster. It's gonna have to battle it out. But uh, do, do a little exit velo. Remember, velo's not everything, but it's a good baseline. So uh, let's do this. All right, we're back here at Play Centennial Field. We got 300 all the way around. Not really worried about distance today. It's more of a velo challenge. But uh, I'm gonna start off with this axe. Michael challenged me to hit 97 first hit. <laughs> not gonna happen, but hey, you know, you never know. Here we got 95 miles oh, per hour. Okay, that was way better than I thought. Unfortunately, it's about 90 degrees here in Arizona right now, so the non linear design should have an advantage there. But uh, we'll see. Got high hopes for the Dax. 93 miles per hour. That's not a great hit, but I'll take it. 93 miles per hour. Oh yeah, this is a 26. This is a balanced version. So it's got the traditional axe knob on there. This is actually the only version of the new 2024 axes that will come with the traditional knob, not that flare one. That kind of finds surprising because I actually like this one. I feel like it gives me more leverage and more grip on the wall. <laughs> hey, Sarah. 94 miles per hour. Feeling good. Let's get one more. 94 miles per hour. Strong, strong outing there for the guy. Let's uh, switch it over. So this is the new Monster SB1 11-inch Advanced Player Series. This bat is an absolute monster. No pun intended. Let's see how it goes. This is also 26 ounce. 91 miles per hour. <laughs> Swings a little heavier. 94 miles per hour. Right there with it. 96 miles per hour. Oh, I think that just squeaked it out. 95 miles per hour. Feeling good. I actually feel like with this one, it's easier to get more distance than like pure exit velo. But still, top notch. 91 miles per hour. Like that kind of thing is like, no doubt with this bat. All right, let's get this SB1. One last ball. 95 miles per hour. Really strong stay. Just barely squeaked it out over the axe. Let's try this torch. All right, so up next we got the monster torch. This is a Smurf, Smurf paint job, but it's got the alloy handle. So this is the newest M5 with the newest handle tech. Should be good. Everyone's been raving about this new alloy stuff. So. 93 miles per hour. That feels good. 95 miles per hour. Good. 96 miles per hour. Ooh, again, squeaked it out. 95 miles per hour. That's that monster magic for you, because I thought that was a horrible hit. Ended up flying over a freaking line drive. Oh yeah. These things are just built different. Ah, right, let's give this one more. I'm gonna drop a pinky. Full overlap. 97 miles per hour. There we go. You know what? Let's switch over to the hard stuff because that's more fun to hit. All right, let's see if we can first hit this 97 with 44. Let's see what we got. 97 miles per hour. Hey, I'll take it. It's cheating, but I'll take it. 
94 miles per hour. That wasn't the greatest hit. 94 miles per hour. Oh, then you have to. Get sweat my eyes like crazy. It's burning. Ninety-three miles per hour. Give this one more good one. Ninety-five miles per hour. Take it. Another solid showing from the ass. It's uh Let's go D Marini. Oh and if you're wondering, I did throw all these on the tester. The Genesis and the D Marini were tested at 250. The uh Axe was tested at around 265, 270. So I'll throw all the pictures up for you. 93 miles per hour. Alright, so we got a 27 ounce here. This is APC Tech from D Marini. This feels about a half ounce, maybe a heavy half ounce. Not, not the full ounce that I'm used to with the gorilla. 94 miles per hour. Feels good. I've really been enjoying this bat. Definitely be in the game bag if I was playing U Trip. 95 miles per hour. 96 miles per hour. Oh. <laughs> that would have felt good. I'm gonna give you one more. You gotta at least tie it now. 97 miles per hour. There you go. Got a tie at least. Whew, hard gas. All right, on to my current gamer. If I go somewhere that hits the harder balls, this is the uh, Louisville Genesis. This is the Kobe edition, Canadian exclusive, from a couple years ago. Still tested 250. 96 miles per hour. This is a uh, 26 pounds, half ounce at most. 96 miles per hour. Good consistent. 97 miles per okay. hour. Another tie. Now see if you can beat it. 93 miles per hour. <sighs> All right, Kobe. Let's do this. Last ball. Let's muscle up. 94 miles per Ooh. hour. Wow. We didn't have anybody. That was the showdown. The Axe Inferno definitely think it held its own. Only lost by one mile per hour to the ASA, which King of King of ASA, we all have to agree is monster. It definitely held its own against the two two of the top the triple SA 240 bats. Again, I'm only doing bats that are actually testing and not failing compression. I know there's hotter bats out there, but that's not fair. So again, pretty impressive. If you want to pick one of these up, head over to axbat.com. Use our buddy Alex's code ALSVENTURE, whatever it is. I'll put it down here. It's kind of crazy. Save you 20%. Yeah, let me take a little victory lap with this thing. Because if I have to declare a winner, definitely the axe today. 94 miles per hour. Yep, it's a good one.